Nepal, May 2015. Two weeks after the first earthquake struck, 35-year-old Kumari Gale, a mother of two, survived, but members of her family died. Her village was virtually destroyed. It all started just after lunch when we were sitting at home on April the 25th. I was about to give water to the buffaloes and goats. At the same time, my two sisters arrived at my house. Suddenly, everything started shaking. Everyone shouted, earthquake, earthquake. The roof collapsed and my sisters and I were buried under the rubble. We were about to suffocate to death due to the lack of air as we were totally covered with dust and wood. I moved my hands and tried to come out from the rubble, but I couldn't. Finally, I found a hole where my sister and I managed to escape. My other sister was in the kitchen. We removed the rubble and got her out. We went looking for one of my nephews who went out with my mother-in-law before the earthquake struck. I saw him lying next to the buffaloes. In the next house, my brother-in-law and his family were trapped under the rubble. He'd returned from abroad for a holiday. I asked for help to rescue them, but no one came. Then I tried to remove the stones and wood by myself. While rescuing one of the boys, my brother-in-law passed away. Kumari Gale and around 2,000 other people were forced to leave their homes in Tulagon in the district of Rasua. She now lives in a hut like this with two other families. She has no idea when she might return to her village. I don't know. I think it's impossible. There are still landslides happening. The water source has dried up due to the earthquake and landslides. We can't drink the water in the village. We're drinking water from the stream. Kumari Gale dreams of building her own house, but for the moment, she's simply surviving on food handouts provided by Nola.